Hello everyone. <clears throat> this is Dr. Arsa Sikmar, Professor, Computer Science and Engineering Department from RMD Engineering College. Today, I am going to take about a floating point addition concept in computer architecture. Uh, this is the floating point addition flowchart. Uh, so we have to uh, start, then compare the exponent of the two numbers. Shift the smaller number to the right until its exponent would match the larger exponent. Suppose if the uh, two numbers exponents are not equal, then you, we have to find out the which one has the smaller number of exponents. Then shift the smaller number of exponents to the right until its exponent would be would match the larger exponent. Then after matching that uh, uh, exponents are equal for both number, then add the significant. Then now now we check whether that's normalized or not. If the number is not a normalized, either shifting right and incrementing the exponent or shifting left and decrementing the exponent value. So the normalization is nothing but what? The number starts with a single non-zero digit. Then overflow or underflow. If overflow comes, then exception error will occur. If there is no overflow or underflow means what? Then round the significant digit to the appropriate number of bits. Then you check whether it's still normalized or not. If normalized now, you stop the process. Otherwise, you have to do the normalization again. This is the flowchart for floating point addition. And uh, this is an example. Perform floating point addition for the following number. 9.999 base 10 into 10 power 1 plus 1.610 base 10 into 10 power minus 1. So here, the uh, ma mantissa is uh, significant is nothing but what? A 9.999 plus 1.610. So how to do that uh, floating point addition means what? Uh, we have to check with whether the exponent is equal or not. Here, according to this, uh, with respect to this example, the exponents are not equal. So uh, here, the exponent is uh, 10 power 1. Here, the exponent is at 10 power minus 1. So, if both exponents are not equal, then we have to choose the uh, number which has a smaller number of exponents. So, 1.610 based in into 10 power minus 1. That is a smaller exponent. So, compare the exponents of the two numbers. Shift the smaller number to the right until its exponent would match the larger exponent. So, if you shift left to the right, then automatically the power will be incremented. So if you shift right one time, then the power will be incremented. 10 power minus 1 plus 1, you will get 10 power 0. Still, the exponents are not equal. Again, if you shift right one more time, then the power will be equal. Okay, so that is a step one. Compare the exponent of both operand. If it is equal, add the two operand. That is a significant you can add. If it is not equal, then increase the smaller exponent by shift right. So that is shift the smaller number to the right until its exponent would match the larger exponent. As for our example, uh, we have a smaller exponent is what? 1.610 base 10 into 10 power minus 1. So 1.610 base 10 into 10 power minus 1. So you have to shift right uh, one time. So 0 0.1610, right? Uh, so that is a shift right means what? Uh, this is a, the, this this will be shift right okay so 0 0.1610 base 10 into 10 power that is a minus 1 plus increment power will be incremented by 1 so minus 1 plus 1 you will get to 10 power 0 still the exponents are not equal because the first uh, mantis exponent is 10 power 1 the second one is 10 power 0 again you have to shift right one more time so now that uh, 0 will be shift right uh, one more time again 0 point that is a 0 will be shift right one more time so 0 0.01610 into shift right now power will be incremented by one shift left now power will be decremented by one so now 0 0.0160 into 10 power one so here now both exponents are equal so but we can represent only four decimal digits so after shifting the number is really what uh, 0 0.016 base 10 into 10 power plus 1. So now both equal, e exponents are equal. So the step 1 is over. Then what is step 2? Add the significant. So add the significant means what? 9.999 into 10 power 1, 0 0.016 into 10 power 1. Both exponents are equal. So you can add 9 plus 6, 15, carry 1, 9 plus 1, 10, plus 1, 11, carry 1, 9 plus 1, 10, carry 1, 9 plus 1, 10. So 10.015 into 10 power 1. Okay. So step two also over. Then 
you check whether the uh, result is uh, normalized or not. What is called a normalization? Normalization means what? Uh, the number must start with a single non-zero digit. Okay, so it should be start with one point something. Okay, but here 10 point something. So the number is not a normalized. If you want to normalize the number, then either shifting right or shifting left to perform the operation. Shift right means what? The exponent will be incremented by one. Shift left means what? The exponent will be decremented by one. So step three, normalize the sum either shifting right and increment the exponent or shifting left to the decrement the exponent. So the sum is, uh, the with respect to that example, the sum is not a normalized scientific notation. So we need to adjust it uh, 10.015 into 10 power 1. So 0 will be shifted right. So 1.0015 into power will be incremented by 1, 10 power 2. Okay. So now this number is normalized number 1.0015 into 10 power 2. Whenever the exponent is increased or decreased, we must check for overflow or underflow. We have to write here with respect to this example, there is no overflow. Then round the significant to the appropriate number of bits. So the maximum digit is what a four digit. So 1.0015. So round up. So 1.002 into 10 power 2. This is normalized. So you stop the process. This is the way to identify the uh, sorry. This is the way to calculate the floating point addition. I hope you understand this example. Right. Uh, I will give another example. So example 2. Perform the floating point addition for the following numbers 0 0.5 base 10 and minus 0 0.4375 base 10. So in the previous example, the exponent value given directly, but here the exponent value is not given directly. So we have to calculate the exponent value. Then what is the step one? Compare the exponent of the two numbers. Okay. So assume that we keep four bits of precision. Okay. So 0 0.5, 10 by uh, 0 0.5 base 10. So convert the operands into binary. So 0 0.5 into convert decimal number into uh, uh, binary number. So you have to multiply 2 into 5, 0, carry 1. So 1 1.0. Okay. This is what 1.0. And what is the scientific notation? We have to write that exponent value. Initially, the exponent value, we don't know the exponent value. So 0 0.1 into 10 to power 0. Right. Now, this number is not a normalized number. Not a normalized number means what? You have to convert into normalized number. So, one point that uh, shift left. Okay. Normalized number means what? Shift left. So, 1.0 into 2 power minus 1. So scientific notation, right? Uh, so uh, 0 0.1 into 2 power 0, right? Uh, then a number is not a normalized number. So you have to convert into normalized number 1.0 into 2 power minus 1. Then operand to convert the operands to binary number minus 0 0.4375. So you have to multiply by 2. So uh, 2 into 5, 10, carry 1. 2 into 7, 14 plus 1, 15, carry 1. 2 into 3, 6 plus 1, 7, carry 0. 2 into 4, 8. Again, you have to multiply by 2, 0 0.8750 into 2, 2 into 0, 0, 2 into 5, 0, 10, carry 1, 2 into 7, 14 plus 1, 15, carry 1, 2 into 8, 16 plus carry 1, 17, so 1.7. Again, you multiply by, uh, uh, after decimal point, you have to multiply 7500 into 2, 2 into 0, 0, 2 into 0, 0, 2 into 5, 10, carry 1, 2 into 7, 14 plus 1, 15, so 1.5. Again, you multiply after decimal point 5, 0, 0, 0. So 2 into 0, 0, 2 into 0, 0, 2 into 0, 0, 2 into 5, 10, carry 1. So once after the decimal point, once you reach it 0, then you stop the process. Otherwise, uh, in some example, the same number will be repeated. Once the repetition comes, then you have to stop the process and uh, you write the binary value. So how to write the binary value? This is the way to write the binary value. That is 0. Point you start from top to bottom. Okay, 0, 1, 1, 1 into, we don't know that uh, uh, exponent value, so 2 power 0. What you have written here? Here, 0 0.5 into 2. So, same thing, right? Uh, so, if you multiply by 2 means what? Uh, 1.0. 
okay you start with uh, uh, let's say 0 0.1 into 2 power 0 we don't know that value so uh, number not a normalized so 1.0 into 2 power minus 1 this is the case the same thing you have applied here top to bottom 0 0.0111 into 2 power 0 so the number is not a normalized number so you have to shift left how many times two bits shift left so 1.11 into 2 power minus 2 because if you shift left one time still not a normalized number if you shift left one more time then the number is normalized so 1.110 into 2 power minus 2 okay this is what the second case and the first binary number 1.0 into 2 power minus 1 1.110 into 2 power minus 1. Now we got the exponent value. But what is the step 1? Compare the exponent of the two numbers. Shift the smaller number to the right until its exponent would match the larger exponent. So the first example 1.0 into 2 power minus 1. The second example 1.110 into 2 power minus 2. So which one is the smaller exponent? 1.110 into 2 power minus 2 is the smaller number. So we have to shift right to the uh, one digit. Then we will it will equal to first exponent value. So the significant of the number with a lesser exponent minus 1.110 base 2 into 2 power minus 2 is shifted right until its exponent matches the larger exponent. So minus 1.110 into 2 power minus 2 shift right. So one bit. Okay, if you shift right now, the power will be incremented by one. So minus 2 plus 1, you will get minus 1. So, minus 0 0.111 into 2 power minus 1. Now, the both exponents are equal. If both exponents are equal, then add the significant. What is the significant there? 1.4 1. 1. digit. So, this is the significant. 1.000 into 2 power minus 1 and uh, minus 0 0.11 into 2 power minus 1. Okay. Then, you can perform that uh, subtraction. So, 0 minus 1, we cannot uh, 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 subtract. So, you get borrow. Okay. If you get borrow means what? This will be treated as 1, 0. 1, 0 means what? It will be treated as a 2. Again, if you give 1 and here it will be treated as a 1, 0 and this will be like a 1. Okay. Then 2, if you borrow, again it will be treated as 1 and this will be treated as a 1, 0. 1, 0 means what? A 2. So, 2 minus 1, 1. Here 1, 1 minus 1, 0. Here 1, 1 minus 1, 0. This one already given, borrow. So 0 minus 0, 0. So the final answer is what? 0 0.001 into 2 power minus 1. So the significant also added. Now you check whether it is a normalized or not. 0 0.001 into 2 power minus 1, the number is not a normalized number. So you have to shift right or shift left. So with respect to this example, we have to shift left 3 bit. If you shift left now, the power will be decremented by 1. So, 3 times now, 3 uh, minus 3. So, 2 power minus 1 minus 3, you will get minus 4. There is a 1.0 into 2 power minus 1. So, round the sum. Okay. So, this is the value 1.0 into 2 power minus 1. Already the given input is uh, decimal number. So, now you convert the sum into decimal 1.000 into 2 power minus 1, which is nothing but what? Uh, uh, 0 0.0001 base 2 that is a 1 divided by 1 divided by 2 power 4 so 1 1.000 0 into 2 power minus 1 is nothing but what 1 divided by 2 power 4 that is a 1 by divided by 16 1 divided by 16 means nothing but what 0 0.0625 base 10 so that is a way to convert into decimal number i hope you understand this example thank you